Hi Mark Savage here, welcome to my channel. Today we are riding Triumph's Sprint ST 1050. This is a 2008 model, 125 brake horsepower. And these are quite a stiff ride. I had the GT, the Grand Tourer, and that's quite soft. This one's been set, well, quite hard. You do feel the bumps, but again, as I mentioned in my last video, I have a nice lazy Triumph Tiger 800 with a soft, beautiful, squishy suspension. But you just miss this exhilaration of a proper race bike. These are sport tourers, but to be honest with you, there's a nice bit of power if you want it. I was really quite surprised about the 125 brake. I thought there was a lot more wind than this little baby. But I'm assuming, like all bikes, you can upgrade them. And you want to pull away on this one? You can! So I'm hoping you guys have got a lovely view of this bike. Now, what would I change on this now? Well, it's got a stock exhaust, and Trident do a beautiful triple exhaust for these. It sounds just gorgeous. I was so tempted to buy one, just to get that grunt. Now, my Tiger has got a Yoshi exhaust on it, and that does sound the nuts. These triple engines, they just, they've got a lovely little wind to them. And when you get decent exhaust on them, they've got a lovely little pop at the back. And I've got to say, it really, really does suit the bike. You can't mistake a Triumph, can you? They've got the trim lights, or in this range, they've got the triple lights. You always know when you spot a Triumph. And that's something I actually love about these bikes. It doesn't go by and you're thinking, was that a Yamaha or a Kawasaki? No, it wasn't a Honda, is it, uh, you know? I mean, like the Ducatis, you know when you see a Ducati, and you know when you see a Triumph. These are very nice bikes to ride. They do exactly what they say on the tin. Good brakes. Beautiful smooth gearbox in here. And they move and handle quite well. Now I've cleaned it, so I'm a little bit cautious, I suppose, if I've got anything on the tyres, but let's hope not. I think we're in third. Stay in third, round the roundabout, bank rover just a tad little bit, and he just got acceleration. Look at this go. That was very, very nice. Except the car in front of me. Oh, thank you. Now, you can keep your speed down. I suggest you do that on the roads. However, if you want the power, my god, it's there. I didn't need to change gear then. The clocks, you see, nice and simple. I got very used to, if I'm honest with you, um, digital dash. But hey, nice having the rev counter in the middle, speed out to your left, and all your bits to your right. I think, don't quote me, you can change that to a speedo, I'm not 100% sure. I've had a few bikes and, you know, you just get used to them. But let's just go right round the roundabout here. I'm being a bit girly when it comes to, uh, I shouldn't say that, uh, coming to the roundabout. I don't want to bank her too much, but she does like to. She really wants to lean over. And just that acceleration, it's just beautiful. Let's just keep that down. She really does go seven, eight, up to 9,000 revs very, very easy. I said, it's a little bit bumpy. Might have to adjust the suspension slightly. And I think, with exhaust, it's got to be a double bubble scream. I'm, um, <laughs> I'm missing the huge wind sail on the old uh, Triumph Tiger that keeps all the winds and the bugs off my face. 
because I've got a few little friends now who decided to commit Harry Carry on my visor. <laughs> it's like you've got all this open space, why fly into my head? I mean, what's that about? It's like when you wash your car and you go away and you find a sort of bird poo in it. I mean, the other day, nice learner, he's happy, 19 plate. The other day, this bird managed to completely pebble dash, and I mean completely pebble dash, my car and the, and the front of the window. And I think, how did you manage that, son? You know, how did you manage to shat all over my car and still have enough to hit my windows on my house as well? Bloody amazing. And it's like this, nice day, all the gazillions of miles of fresh air, and you fly into my head. Specifically, the four inch of screen that I can only see out of. You know I like this tunnel. I've used it a few times. It's just, just lovely. You get to hear the bike and see the bike. So let's just stop to where I normally stop, to my left hand side, and again the gearbox, beautiful. There we have the tunnel sounds. Oh, suit you, sir. Very, very nice. Handles these bends just lovely. Do you know, if I rode this for another couple of hundred miles, I think I'd be a lot more confident in the bends. It's just like any bike, really. You need a little bit of practice again. I mean, if I got off of one Super Sport and got onto this one, I'd be fine, but just take it easy, you know, you can't do it. A lot of people buying these custom bikes now from a couple of programs on recently, you know, the big old Tours, VNs and XVSs, and you know, you've rode a bike a few years, you get on one of these, and then you come off and you go onto one of these custom bikes, and they come to the first roundabout and they scrape the pegs, you realise your brakes are a little bit poo, because if you jam the front brake on, you get the wobble at the front, you know. There are three or four different sorts of rides on these bikes, as I said, you've got your custom, you've got your sports bikes, then you've got your adventure style bikes, and then you've got your big mega tourers, you know? And there's lots more, I'm sure, if I have different classifications to them. And what I mean by that is when you're, you've got like, my Triumph Trophy, fully laden up, two up, panniers, tank bag and everything else, it's a big old girl to ride, you know? And you get on a custom bike, and you it's just a lovely feeling, open face, open face helmet, and you're just cruising along, you know, the wind in your hair, as it were, but they're lovely, but you know that you've, you really are sitting in the middle of the bike rather than at the front. And you always ride if you jam that front bike or you can get the old wobble. You come to the roundabout, you have to take it wide, you know? And you get these beautiful little sports bikes that you can really open them up with. You haven't got to change gear so early, you know? And adventure bikes. I mean, I lean my adventure bike right over. My little Tiger has got no chicken strips down the sides. I've scraped the pedals, would you believe, and that's some giving it something around about. And you have to really open up to get the speed. And with this one, I found that you don't have to, you know, open up and expect it to wait to go. It really does go when you want it to. I mean, here we are now, just poodle, and you can just open her up and then go. It's just beautiful. A lovely bit of acceleration. Now, Man, agree with you. Under seat exhaust, they are just beautiful, and they stopped doing them. I mean, Honda had the VFR, the ZX10 Kawasaki, a Yamaha. I'm pretty sure Yamaha did one, but it escapes my name with it. I mean, the Ducatis always did them, and then these Triumphs. But you do get heat on the back of my legs now. I can feel the heat from the exhausts, you know, and. 
My wife was on the back of my VFR and she used to say all the time about how hot her legs used to get. So that's why I suppose I stopped doing it, indicating left coming off here. I suppose that's why they stopped doing it, because the heat just bellows back on your legs and you can feel the burn. Not for your bum, but your back of your legs. And I just felt it just then when I opened her up. But do they look good? Yes, they do. I love the side exhausts. I've never been a great love of underbelly exhausts, because you can't see them, and I think the exhaust is something beautiful. I think you should see an exhaust, you know? It's like modern cars there, don't do it, but I just think it's beautiful when you see a lovely shiny exhaust. But the acceleration from these little babies are just... Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. The acceleration's there. The X10 would have lifted and it really would have gone. Sam's a Jexa 750. So I suppose it might be a little bit of weight there. I don't know. But they are just very nice bikes to handle, to move around, wiggle a little bit. Yeah, no, I'm happy with this. Right, there you go. Little, there you go, little review of me riding. A little bit of opening up and a bit of a vlog as well. You can't go wrong, can you? What a lovely Sunday afternoon. We are heading for some beautiful weather. So, time to get your bike out, dust it off, and get out there. Thank you so much for watching my videos. Stay with me. He was there earlier. Such a fucking door, mate. I'm so worried about that idiot with his door wide open. I've said it in my other videos, I hate them bloody shops. Anyway, back to it. Take care on the roads. Thank you for watching. Mark Savage now going to have a cup of tea. There's nothing more to do on this bike. Except enjoy a few miles on it. Ladies, guys.